Hello friends, welcome to Machine Learning the Future Course. Welcome to Part 3 Classification. In the last part, we have seen SVM, Support Vector Machines and now we will actually look at the advanced level which is known as Kernel SVM. So what is Kernel SVM? So before starting with the Kernel SVM, we will let's look at our aim for this machine learning model. So our aim is to find the decision boundary between multiple categories of data. So there will be predefined categories of data for some set of data points and our aim is to find a perfect decision boundary as you can see. So that in future for any kind of new observations we can identify it will belong to which category. So if any kind of new data point comes we can actually identify based on those decision boundary and based on those regions, decision regions whether this new data point belongs to category 1 or category 2. So till now we have seen data which is linearly separable. So data which is linearly separable which consists of graphs which are straight lines. So till now we have seen that kind of data set but what if the data set is not linearly separable. So let's look at an example. So the left side of the graph consists of a linearly separable data set which consists of data points over here, data points over here and we can categorize them as the data is linearly separable. But what if the data is not linearly separable? In this case, as you can see, even if we try to use this kind of machine learning model or this kind of decision boundary, we cannot because it will not completely divide the category 1 and category 2 into two different parts. So to our rescue, we'll be using mapping to higher dimensions method. So in this case, if we have a graph such as this in a 2D space which is non-linearly separable, we can actually use a mapping function to map it to a higher dimension. As you can see, there is only x1 and x2 which is a two-dimensional graph so that we can now use a mapping function to plot or to convert that graph into a three-dimensional graph which will be x1, x2 and z and in that case we will get a hyperplane which will act as a separable or a decision boundary for category 1 and category 2 which will be in a 3D space. So mapping it to a higher dimension means converting from 2D to a higher dimension which is 3D and now in the next step once we get the hyperplane or we can actually consider this as a we can get a decision boundary out of it projecting it will actually see our non-linear separator decision boundary which is actually this so yes we have finally got our non-linear separable decision boundary for this kind of non-linear separable data so initially what we did was we mapped it to a higher dimension converting first 2d into 3d dimension where we have decision boundary as plane and then again projecting it back to a 2d space we actually have a circle which is over here which is actually this hyperplane so that is what kernel svm is so it is used for non-linearly separable data set or data points in our machine learning model so let's begin machine learning in our next part till next time you hope you're enjoying this video series bye bye